The lights are about to go down inside the Mystic Lake Hotel and Casino in Prior Lake, Minnesota, where Legacy Fighting Alliance number 12 was one of their finest nights yet. G'day everybody, Michael Chavello alongside UFC Hall of Famer Pat Militich. Pat, we kicked off this extraordinary night in epic fashion as Nate Gentleman took on Damien Hill at featherweight and won with a first round choke. Gentleman and Hill, both guys going at it. It was back and forth. Both guys going for submissions, throwing strikes. You can see Gentleman here getting a takedown, but Hill hitting a nasty submission on him. Really going for broke early on in this fight. Gentleman having to battle out of this position. Get his neck out of jeopardy. And then Hill going for the takedown himself, but ending up down in the well, wrong side of the body. Gentleman doing a good job capitalizing, getting him in trouble, snatching up the neck and not letting go of it. Gentlemen advancing to nine and two. Damien Hill suffering his eighth career loss. Next up, a light heavyweight contest. The Cuban missile, Julian Marquez, took on Cameron Olsen. Look at the striking here of Marquez. You can see why they call him a missile. Both guys, really big, powerful guys. And Marquez is a more refined striker, there is no doubt. More boxing experience. Olsen loads up on that right hand, misses. Marquez ducks underneath it, lands his own right, and finishes. Marquez goes to five and one. Olsen falls literally to seven and three. Next up was one of the fights of the night. Jeff Peterson took on undefeated 21-year-old Bobby Lee. Bobby Lee opened up like a house on fire in the first round. In the second and third, though, Peterson turned the tide and put the first blemish on Bobby's record. Bobby Lee has been steamrolling everyone, and he was not able to do that with Peterson. Ran into some very tough moments in this fight. Peterson kept coming back on him, stopping a lot of takedowns, getting up when he did get taken down. A lot of adversity for Bobby Lee in this fight. A great learning experience for Bobby Lee. The losing to an experienced fighter like Peterson. Underrated Jeff Peterson now goes to seven and four, and Bobby Lee losing a decision. Falls to six and one. The night belongs to Peterson. Next up, it was violence personified. Chad Curry versus Kyle Kurtz. Curry's second round ground and pound knockout. This was Curry's most violent performance yet. So athletic, so physically imposing. I mean, right from the get-go, hitting that power takedown and just laying down the leather on top of him. Non-stop elbows and punches. That excellent base of his, the power, the balance, enables him to throw full power shots from the top. A lot of people are gonna be in trouble facing this kid. Chad Curry just pounding away on a hapless Kyle Kurtz. Kurtz got in some good shots of his own, but this was Curry at his very best. He goes to nine and one, Kyle Kurtz seven and five. You thought that was violent, you've got to check out the main event. It was the inaugural LFA welterweight championship of the world. Ben the Baker Newman took on former legacy world champion D-Rock Derek Krantz. Ben Newman winning the first round on our scorecards, and then Derek Krantz just opened up the bestial mode in the second round. Ben Newman knew he had to try and survive the onslaught that is Derek Krantz. Krantz has so much power, such heavy hands, and they finally found their target. And once they did, Newman was in trouble from the word go, bleeding like a stuck pig, receiving massive punishment, and eventually the referee had just seen enough. T-Rock Derek Kranz becomes the first ever LFA welterweight champion, 29. Ben Newman, his fifth career loss. Folks, join us for LFA 13. It'll be June 2nd in Burbank, California.